Welcome to Bentley Power Civil Water Sewer Training Course. As you can see on the screen, we will be using a student course guide to step through the, the Power Civil Water Sewer application. It would be a good idea to already have this guide printed out and available. There are step-by-step -step instructions to go through an exercise in the guide. There's explanation of tools in the guide. And this is what I'll be using to step through the course. Let's take a look at the table of contents on page three of this training guide and get an idea of what exactly we'll be looking at throughout this training course. As you can see here, we're going to introduce you to the basics of Power Civil Water Sewer. We're going to discuss the Power Civil Water Sewer project file, or GWS file, the preferences that go with that file. Once we get through that, we'll actually start the design at that point, placing water lines, sewer lines, water nodes, sewer nodes, profiling our systems, and looking at a couple of plans production type tools. The course will cover most of the tool set delivered with the water sewer program, but is only intended to introduce the user to the basics. Further tool analysis, further in-depth coverage. A user should refer to the online help system provided with the program or call the toll-free support number for further explanation or help. I also want to look at the data set that's provided and one should already have on their computer. There should have been sent a executable file with all the class data files in it or a link to download those files. As you can see here, I've highlighted and placed this file on my desktop. And it's just a simple executable file. You double click on it. It will extract the necessary files to the C drive of the computer. And it will create all necessary folders to place those files into. I would simply hit unzip and it would place 11 files onto my computer. These files are project files like CAD files, standard files, cell libraries, design file libraries, stuff like that. And you can see here it creates a folder data, geo, site, and a folder called water sewer. And it places four files in there for our particular project that we'll be working with. We have a design file, a file that has our proposed and existing surface model called a GSF file. We have a drainage design done and a drainage device design file and coordinate geometry with alignments and profiles of roadways stored. These are the files that go with the project. It also created a standards folder and in that standards folder it placed a few files shown here are a lot more than what would come with the data set but files that are standard amongst each user. So cell libraries, preference files, for drawing profiles and, and things of that nature. So those would be things that would be used from project to project to project. And we place those in a standards folder to kind of separate those from the actual individual project files shown here under water sewer. <laughs> so those files will be the basis for our class and as well as the manual. So in a moment, we'll go ahead and start with the introduction 
to the program and kind of review the basics of the program.